Want the perfect small, inexpensive UPS for your home networking devices? Stay tuned. All right, so my home lab has been growing and given the importance of internet connectivity and Wi-Fi, I wanted a separate UPS slash battery backup for my internet router and switch. Um, not much power consumption from these devices, so I chose the uh, APC 600 volt ampere 330 watt battery backup. Uh, model number is BE600M1. Um, according to the uh, graph above, uh, that should be plenty for the uh, occasional power blips that I experience. All right, let's open her up. All right, uh, first off, the unit is uh, very light, uh, definitely consumer grade versus commercial or enterprise class. It's sub 10 pounds for sure. Um, what's nice is it does come with the uh, quality insurance uh, inspection info. And uh, within the box, it also comes with a USB cable for uh, UPS management and uh, the instruction manual. Okay, and uh, prior to using the unit, uh, you will need to connect the internal battery per the warning label. All right, so up at the top, we have five staggered outlets, which is really nice for those big old brick power supplies. Uh, five are backed by the, the battery and protects against uh, surges and spikes, and two specifically for surge protection only. Um, no display on the unit. Uh, there are vents on uh, both sides, which is nice. And up at the top, uh, there is a port for uh, USB charging. So on this side of the uh, unit, we got the uh, building wiring fault indicator in case your um, building is wired up incorrectly. We got the USB data port. So this connects to your Windows desktop and it gracefully shuts down the system uh, in the event you lose power for an extended period of time. In my case, I won't be using that specific feature. Um, for those interested, the power cable is five feet long. And finally, we got the uh, circuit breaker in the event that it gets tripped. All right, so prior to the first use, we're gonna have to uh, connect to the internal battery. So push down these two tabs and remove the cover. I then like to uh, rotate the unit down. Okay, now we're gonna remove the battery. Take out the red connector from within the unit and plug it in. And it's normal for this to spark. Okay, and uh, reinsert the battery. and put the cover back on. And uh, UPS has typically come with a bit of a charge from the factory, but I'm gonna charge this guy up for uh, 24 hours prior to placing it into production. And for this particular model, it'll charge uh, whether the unit is on or off. So I allowed the uh, UPS to charge for a day and what I did was I just uh, plugged in a test monitor and a test system to the UPS. So let's give it a power on. All right, let's wait until the uh, power light turns solid green. That usually indicates that it's ready to go. Okay, uh, and then let's power on the system real quick.
and what I'm going to do is get a continuous ping going to Google, let's say, just to confirm that uh, there's activity. Okay, and I'm going to pull the plug just to confirm that the system remains running. All right, no issues, no flickering, no drop pings. And the monitor, not the monitor, the UPS does give you an indicator saying that uh, the UPS is on battery. That said, you know, I'm used to the UPS beeping when it loses uh, power. Uh, let me do some digging real quick. All right, so it appears out of the box, the default mode from the factory is to be on quiet mode. Uh, my preference is just to get a beep or something when it's on battery. So uh, to change that, uh, you hold down the power button until you hear three beeps. And if you want it on full alarm mode, uh, what you want is for this flashing light to become amber. There you go. And then allow, it says five, and then it'll take that particular setting. Okay, and now when we unplug the UPS, it should beep. And uh, to take advantage of the quick mute mode, just hit the uh, power button for less than two seconds. There you go. And here's an example of how you can use larger power supplies with this particular UPS, which is really nice. And one final uh, tip is I usually like to put the date that the unit was placed into production. So uh, kind of get, uh, get an idea of when the batteries need to be replaced. Uh, typically, I've been getting between three and five years out of uh, APC batteries. So I uh, hope this helps. Uh, if you like what you see, please click like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.